1994, the International Monetary Fund pressured Senegal into a devastating decision, one you've probably never heard of. They cut the value of the West African franc in half. La valeur a baissé de moitié dans les 14 pays de la zone franc. Le franc CFA, qui est en cours dans 14 pays d'Afrique, est dévalué de 50%. Today, West Africans are looking for ways to escape the chokehold of European monetary colonialism. I am in Dakar, the capital city of Senegal. Here, you can use Bitcoin to pay in some restaurants, bars, and even tattoo shops. Or you can simply trade peer-to-peer -peer with other Bitcoiners, like this guy I met on the beach. I'm going to give you three dollars, okay? Boom! You just received three dollars. You get back on? Joseph. I'm Joe Hall, a reporter for Coin Telegraph. I travel around the world to document the adoption of Bitcoin and crypto. Here's how Senegal is on its way to building a Bitcoin economy that could provide financial freedom from its European colonizers. You may have heard Senegal pop up on the crypto radar a couple of years ago when the American singer Akon announced his plan to build a crypto city there. A futuristic place called Akon City. Akon City. Akon City. Tell me about this. While Akon City has remained a pipe dream, Bitcoin adoption in Dakar has been growing rapidly. Senegal is a fertile ground for Bitcoin adoption for a number of reasons. First, people here are very familiar with cashless transactions. Just look at this map. Senegal is no stranger to mobile money and it's a popular payment option. 71% of adults sent money via mobile phone in the last 30 days. So it's just like mobile money. And it's going to go from my wallet to your wallet, like that, I just tap pay. And beam, you just received it in three, two, one. Africa internet. No, Senegal internet is good. Okay. So, so yeah. Senegal. Okay, you I have just, it. So you want to share that to the camera that beam? Another reason is demographics. Senegal's population is incredibly young. That means people here are digitally native or open to technological innovation. The beautiful part of Africa is they have youth, man. Over 50-60% of the population is youth. And the youth is on internet watching. Oh, what is this? What is this? J'invite beaucoup les jeunes à s'intéresser au sujet, à commencer à à se comment dire, à se former à se renseigner, à chercher la bonne information, surtout auprès des bonnes personnes. Parce que si on cherche sur Google, on peut trouver du tout et de n'importe quoi. Donc on peut trouver la vérité comme on peut trouver des mensonges. Donc euh, il faut chercher la bonne, la bonne information chez les bonnes personnes. Et il y a au Sénégal les bonnes personnes pour avoir la bonne information. The Senegalese are turning to Bitcoin as a better alternative to their local currency. The West African franc is used in 13 countries besides Senegal. It is printed in France, pegged to the euro, and its monetary policy is controlled by Western powers. Not exactly the definition of monetary sovereignty, right? In 1994, the World Bank devalued the West African franc against the French franc by 100%. That year, the Senegalese woke up one day to realize the value of their life savings had been slashed in half. Je pense pour des pays comme le Sénégal qui sont bloqués par des monnaies comme le CFA, donc qui sont indexés par des, euh, par des puissances de puissance européennes. Ou, euh, du coup, c'est aussi un moyen de, de sortir de ça et d'avoir une monnaie un peu plus indépendante. Parce que c'est quand même à la base la clé de voûte du, euh, du Bitcoin, c'est ça, c'est proposer euh, quelque chose d'indépendant, d'incontrôlable. Bitcoin adoption faces substantial challenges in Senegal. One of them is the lack of basic infrastructure. Basic infrastructure and some sort of public good. Uh, that need to be financed, that need to be built, like reliable internet. Uh, you know, a farmer in Senegal might not have reliable internet. Another hurdle that Bitcoin adoption must overcome is the swathe of crypto-related frauds that occur in the country and indeed across Africa. Many people here still associate Bitcoin with scams. So you have a lot of scammers here. You have, you have a lot of people that have some Ponzi scheme. They rob them every day. On parle de, de, de l'argent qui n'est pas halal, c'est de l'arnaque, comment on peut posséder de l'argent qui n'est pas géré par une banque. Donc ils sont trop sceptiques, il y a toujours ce scepticisme-là. Mais pourquoi sont les scams de Bitcoin-related so widespread dans le Sénégal 
One answer could be the country's low literacy levels, which restrict people's abilities to discern and safely use crypto. This is why education has become a top priority for the local Bitcoin community. So we just set up the Bitcoin Senegal community. I was the first one. So we decided to, to raise our voice and to go and to talk to people. In our first e-meet on Clubhouse, we were maybe three or four, but I kept going. Two sessions per week, and then one session per week because we used to have 10, 20. Sometimes we would have hundreds of people that have just come here and listening. After that, we decided to make some video on YouTube. So you can be at your home. If you look for Bitcoin in Senegal, you won't see anything like trading or how to get rich, etc. Just the philosophy, what is Bitcoin? And we also did some technical videos, so how to set up a Bitcoin node, how to set up a Lightning node. You know, we did a lot of thinking about it, we did a lot of things about education here. Bitcoin conferences are the perfect place to spread the Bitcoin message. Here I am at Dakar Bitcoin Days, one of the very first Pan-African Bitcoin events, where activists are teaching people the basic principles of money, finance and Bitcoin. So, the first of the genre in Africa. So, I think it will ticker the international international pour euh, leur montrer que la communauté francophone aussi est présente euh, dans Bitcoin. Et on essaie aussi de faire adopter euh, ces, euh, ces crypto, euh, pas crypto, Bitcoin euh, et sa technologie derrière. Et on essaie aussi de travailler sur des solutions. A broken monetary system and a young, digitally native population. These are the perfect conditions for Bitcoin adoption to thrive. Education and investments in infrastructure are among the final jigsaw pieces of the puzzle which could transform Senegal into the main Bitcoin hub of West Africa. And who knows, if successful, Senegal could inspire more African countries to explore Bitcoin as a tool for financial empowerment and emancipation from their colonial past. This has been Joe Hall reporting for Cointelegraph.